Let's start the first lesson. So, uh, the problem of the company, normally, the big problem of the company is how to create value. Because if you don't create value, you don't sell the product. If you don't sell the product, you don't make profit. If you don't make profit, you fail. Easy. Easy to say, not easy to do. But, okay, so, the main point is how can we create value using marketing? Every part of it, you can create value, use production, use everything. But now we are here for marketing, so how can we create value using marketing? This is the main question. So, let's try to understand how value can be created. And let's make just the example of the coffee. Coffee is a product that, you know, supposedly you use. And how much is the value of the coffee out of the field? The value of the coffee for a cup of coffee out of the field. Out of the field is two cents. Okay? You can harvest the coffee and then create your know, and burn it a little bit, roast it, and then crunch it and make a coffee. How much is the value? Two cents for one cup of coffee. But how much is the value when you buy a coffee powder? This is the market leader in Italy, Lavazza and you make with your own uh, coffee machine, home coffee machine <clears throat> and you buy it at the supermarket that is about 25 cents obviously if you buy this kind of products that now are the standard or less it's from 30 to 35 cents so the value of coffee has grown has grew up why? why coffee is good? Why? Yeah? So you have transportation costs, uh, you have marketing costs, and well, manufacturing costs when you're in the packets, the packets, and all these kind of things. You're right, but you're talking about costs, not value. This is the point. Cost is not a value. Value is the point of view of the consumer. Okay? The cost is the point of view of the company. Yeah? Consumer will need to pay 25 cents. Consumer, customer will, like, will pay the 25 cents. Yeah, but why? Because they are stupid? No. They are not stupid. So, why? Because uh, it is um, create value 25 cents. See, if, if I go to the supermarket, if it's uh, 25 euro, I wouldn't buy it. The 25 cents, I will buy it. Why? Because I need that. Because... Uh, no, you have to answer. No, yeah, in order that you need it. But why you accept the price of 25 cents for each cup? It's now made more convenient for you. Convenient? What does it mean? It's added value to you because it's convenient. You don't have to go to the field to make it yourself. It's like okay, and this value uh, depends on what? That's the point. This is so you can pay. If necessity is uh, hard, you say necessity. What is it? Necessity. Because your necessity is different from another one. That's the point. Yeah. Uh, sorry. This is a complex answer, but uh, uh, can be part of the value. Uh, you are aware? Yeah. Maybe it's about the image that you think project into your brain about. This the is image. part of the value. Or you you trust the brand, and this is part of the value. Before the 
we'll put the price tag, any company, they'll do the market research and everything. So Yeah. Okay, don't rely so much on market researches. But anyway, they, are, <laughs> they should be done anyway, okay. What else? They have added the packaging and the way you see things. In the field it was different. Okay, so you have you have a, a quality of service, that is the package, that is already roasted, that is is in powder that can use and so on. So it's a different product in a way. And the value of this product is acceptable for 25 cents. This is in Italy, different country can be different. Okay, because it depends on the, also on the competition and the alternatives that you have and so on. Okay. So from two cents to ten times, ten times, twenty-five cents. It's a big buy increase, huh? ten times. Or more, thirty times. But when you go to the bar and you ask for a cup of coffee, not here because you ate the 80 cents, but is a political price, okay? okay? The normal price in the north of Italy, because in the south of Italy is less, but in the north of Italy is 1.10. 1.10. Why 1.10? What is the value now? What is the value now? Because you pay for that. So, the value is correct, more or less. Obviously, you prefer to pay less, but you accept this price. This is Italy because if you go abroad, it's four times this price normally. Okay, but in Italy there's a big competition, so the price is low, etc. Why 1.10? That is four or five times more. Well, in food and beverage, uh, 25 percent food cost is a very good. Uh... Yes, yeah, so you are, you are an account. Yeah, because you, you, you say always oh, the cost, the cost, the cost. Try to change your mindset. We are not talking about cost now. We are talking about value. So, is the consumer point of view. The consumer point of view doesn't care about costs. This is up to of the, of the company. The cost is a business of the company. The, the consumer is a business of, has a business of value. It's valuable for me or not, that price. You understand the, 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 the mindset that you have to change. Don't think about the cost. Think about what the consumer is receiving more than in the supermarket or more than in the field. Experience. Experience. Service with kind of service. Yeah, but this is not the service, this is the place. Okay? But the service means that they prepare the coffee for you in a perfect way, with a perfect cup, with sugar, with uh, uh, everything, and also you can use a, a warm milk or something like that, and so on. And you can share it with your friends. And you, and you take a break from your day and say, okay, let's go for a coffee. This is the problem we pay. We pay our break. It is valuable. It's a cultural excuse in Italy, for example, or not only in Italy, in many countries, for a break. Let's have a coffee together, normally. Or just have a okay, cake and also a coffee for me, no problem. But it's something that normally you share and you take a break of your day, of your work day, or your study day, and so on. Okay? Actually, during the break, all the people in the coffee you share. <laughs> Why? Paying 80 euros and 80 cents. So 80 cents for the coffee. Just a break. Because it's a, let's say, ritual in a way. And this ritual is valuable for 1.5. Ten. And if you are brought for four euros, for example, more or less, let's go to China, or if you go to uh, <coughs> Starbucks coffee shops, you pay a lot for that kind of drink that they call coffee, okay? And, okay, but, here we are. If you have a coffee, in San Marco Square, in Café Florida. It is the oldest coffee 
shop in the world, you pay 15 euros. Why? Okay, you say because we are in San Marco Square. Yeah, but what does it mean? What is the value? Yeah? Okay, and so uh, go to the mind of the consumer. What, are, what, is, what is buying the, the person? Yeah, it could be. Could be the experience, what do you mean from the experience? That um, it's not a Because it's a historical place where you can 
learn many things. Aesthetics, obviously. And skills. You are in another world. You're, you're escaping the daily life, in a way. Okay? These are the components of the experience. And the experience is one big, unbelievable driver of value. Okay. This is the book I suggest to you just to read if you want to go deeper in the, in the value system. And this is why uh, I saw that book many years ago, some years ago, let's say, many years ago, in, uh, well, I was in the United States. And I saw this book made by uh, Harvard Business School Press. And in the cover, you have a Venetian mask. And I was surprised for that. And I was curious, what is it? And the first example they made is to scholars that are uh, um, Pine and Gilmore is the experience of the coffee in San Marcos. As a, a, a good example of creation of value by experience. Okay. Then we have another point. Tribal. Tribal money. What is a tribe? A tribe is a group of people connected by a common mission. It's not a segment of people. The segment is a, just a marketing approach. It is people that act similarly uh, for some products and so on, some means, etc. But a tribe is a group of people connected and lifted by passion. Passion is so strong. I suppose that every one of you is patient or just uh, can be sport, can be uh, leisure time, can be everything. And you see, these are Vespa passionate, hmm? 500 passionate, De Chabot, Harley Davidson, cyclists. Okay? Typical patient. The Harry Davidson, Davidson tribe is a tribe linked by a product, the motorcycle. But not only the product, because the motorcycle, the helmet should be in a way, uh, the bags for the motorcycle should be in a certain way, and so on. The way they dress, etc. Et et the same for the cyclist, the same for the snowboarders, etc. They are linked by patient. And what, how much do they spend for their passion? This is the point, the marketing point. How much do they spend for their passion? Do you know how much is for a cyclist, let's say a uh, amateur cyclist, for a bicycle? A good bicycle. And you are cheap person. <laughs> He said 2,500. Let's say around 4 or 5,000 hmm? for a bicycle. And you say, oh, so much for a bicycle. It's not too much. If it's the patient I like. How much for a motorcycle? <laughs> for an everyday, so or for a Ducati. Ducati is the same. Another tribe, but it's a tribe. Actually, you say Ducatisti, that means people having a Ducati. Or having uh, individual tribes, like us. Hmm? How much do they spend? A thousand, a thousand years. Why? Because the value is not the product. The value is the connection with the others and the, the sh is sharing the passion. So if we use product just to share passion just to share something. A shared product is spreads. Okay? The value of spreads fantastic. Because it's a shared product. Let's have spreads. Can you imagine to have a spreads alone? So sad. 
we should have a sprint together with the other people just to share it. So it's a sharing problem. Okay, we are not passionate by sprints. I hope so. But <laughs> anyway, this is a sharing product. So, Pride is a network by heterogeneous people who live by passion or shared emotion and <clears throat> can, do, can make collective actions. Which are the sources of value? The sources of value are price, quantity, mass status, efficiency, and basic performance. Convenience. Convenience. Obviously, the cost price is a source of value. Convenience. We buy something because of convenience. Uh, convenience is connecting the price, more or less, when comparable products are almost the same, and so we choose the price. Tuna can, okay? Tuna fish, or just let's say sugar, uh, flour, or salt, and many things. I'm using just the, the most commodities, but yeah, which one, which one we buy? Lowest price, they are similar. This could be also for toothpaste, if you are not so interested in, in toothpaste, or just for everything. For a pen, for a book note, Okay, why not? We buy the lowest price. This is convenience. One source of value is convenience. The second source of value is experience. We saw that. An example we made about some market square, coffee, and so on. Experience. There is immaterial, more quality than quantity, exclusivity, as you said before, and entertainment. This is experience. And this is another source of value. So, convenience means that our price should be compared with the competitors. But depends on the experience, perception that we have. And the third source is relationship. So, community, shared experience, entertainment, and linking products. As you see, entertainment is important when we buy something. Because we like to be abused by the product. That's the product. This product is Harvard's, okay? Ah, oh, Harvard's fantastic. Why? This is a memory product. You bought it in the house, okay? So you went to London. She went to London, in that beautiful department store, and she said, "Okay, my budget is not so big. Otherwise, you can buy bags and other things, but enough big just to buy a memory." Do you have the price of this? Seven pounds. That's a good price for a memory, okay? It's convenient, it's an experience, and not, it's not so sharing at the moment, it's your product, but the first two are uh, included in this, uh, this charts. Harald means seven pounds. Seven pounds means uh, ten euros, more or less. That is a big price for this kind of product. So it's big for this kind of memory. So the value of this product is 10 euros. The value of this product... Okay, don't be ashamed. Uh, <laughs> how much is it? Two? You don't remember. Yeah, too old. It's too old, okay? <laughs> but it's a memory because it's too old. Uh, that you use for years. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, this is... It became a memory, but was not a memory at the beginning. Yeah. So two euros. It's okay. The same function. Okay. More or less the same function. The same technology. A zip. Okay. 
but two different prices, totally different prices, because one is made and one is a province. This is convenience, this is experience. You see the difference of the value? And we use this every, every, every time we buy. Every time we buy. Sometimes we buy convenience, sometimes we buy experience, sometimes we buy relationship. So, I will make you another example. And the other example is a classical Christmas cake, Italian Christmas cake. Okay? The Italian Christmas cake, the most important Italian Christmas cake, is panettone. Why the story? Because panettone is a traditional product. Being a traditional product, there are a lot of competitors. Because for years, for centuries, you are producers of panettone. So, it's what we call a mature market. We know revolution, we know innovation. Yes, a food product should be traditional, so you can innovate too much. This. And you can produce many companies, many bakeries, everyone can produce it. So it's a, let's say, miserable market. Hmm? Maybe not. If you can include value in the product, new value. And how, well, with three things, quality, 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 innovation, 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 and communication. These are three drivers just to increase the quality, the communication, and the innovation has to increase the value. And I make you just, just this example. Loison is a small company making very good panettone, but it's possible for many others. Okay. You have an idea of this product. So, handmade <coughs> with quality ingredients, and okay, it's a good product. But it's not only a good product, there's a good package. The package is important. Why the packaging can be important for a panettone? Because panettone could be not something to eat, but something to eat. Just to... could be a gift. And which is the point of a gift? Why you buy a gift? Traditional. Yeah, but why you buy a gift in general? The uh, time in December, December is like more convenient for giving a gift like this. Okay, but in general you buy a gift? But in the different time, different situation. Is yeah, fine. yeah, but the reason why you buy a gift? Because it's a uh, Christmas time. So. Yeah, you are always thinking about the Christmas time. You? To make a person happy. Okay, to make a person happy and to be remember as an important person. You cannot make a gift of a very cheap and rude and brutal product, you know? Yeah. And so it's part of yourself that is in, inside the gift. So, how much do you spend for the gift? As much as possible, considering the situation, of course. For example, for your friend and girlfriend, you buy a, a ring, how much do you spend? Well, 10 euros. Well, <laughs> too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you spend a, a, an amount of money that you cannot understand if you are not considering that in that ring there are you and your relationship and your star and everything. Okay? So a gift is a different point. If you transform a product in a gift, you create, you create value. Okay? Another way, just to create value. You understand how many ways we have to create value for a product? If you s just give a simple panettone, you say, okay, eat it, good luck. Eat. If you create a, a gift, if you give, if you have a gift, well, package is so important. Hmm? 
impression. Yeah, first impression is important. And pain is important just to say, okay, consider that I'm not, uh, just say, a uh, cheap person that I don't want to spend money for you or something like that. Packaging. For example, Japanese products are fantastic for that. Their package is beautiful, really beautiful. They are the master of the package. Because it is a big country. Also, China is a big country. There are big countries. Europe is no more a big country compared to others, of course. But when you make a gift, your wallet is light. Okay? <laughs> Should be became light. Okay? Okay. So, first point, ingredients of the product. We start always from the product. Remember, if you don't have a good product, you don't are on the market. That's the point, for sure. This is not enough, but this is the starting point. So, ingredients. What it did, what this uh, entrepreneur did, was just to consider the quality of the ingredients. Because, you know, this is a market where there are many bakeries, single, very small producers, very, a very big competitor that is the market leader, around 60% of the market, it is Bali. That there's other brands as Alemania and other, other brands, that is in this company. And so it's difficult to find just a market share or just a, a space in the market. How? Innovating the product. And so, how can you innovate a traditional product? This is another challenge. Okay, let's think that the ingredients should be fantastic. And so, you see, multi butter, milk, safe farms, Egg, fresh eggs. No one is making uh, say cakes with fresh eggs. They use powdered eggs. Because you can imagine how it's complicated just to use fresh eggs in a company, in a factory. Everything is breaking. Hmm? But he used fresh eggs and the quality obviously different. Obviously different. But it is more complex in the production and in the process. Then, Italian wines, like, well, very expensive Italian wines, uh, candied oranges from Sicily, uh, citron from Diamante, and late mandarin from Ciaculli. That is, which, uh, you know what is, uh, have you ever. Heard about uh, um, slow food? These are slow food places, certificate is slow food places, where the food is natural, it's perfect, it's high quality, and so on. But they are small places. So when you buy the late mandarin or chakuli just to make a panettone, no other competitor can do that because it's finished. And the same is for uh, quinoa de Savona or mm, pistachio <coughs> from Rome and so on. Second, packaging. And the value of packaging is very quite important because in Christmas period, gift is important, of course. And so they create different packages uh, for different products, uh, very, very sophisticated, that can be used again and so on. And then, a storytelling. They create a museum, it's a small company. But they create, this is an important point, and a lot of companies, they are having museums of the company. Why? Because this is the story of the company. This is the credibility of the company. If you have a museum, you can go to Ducati, for example, and you have a museum. Go to Ferrari, you have a museum. You go to Ferragamo, you have a museum. You go to Louis Vuitton and you have a museum. Every big brand, and also small, have a museum where you can appreciate the quality and the story of the company. 
and if you know the story, you increase the value. And so he created a museum with the old machines, how to make Mantore, he collects a lot of books, a lot of library about Mantore, everything about Mantore, okay? And then create a lot of ambassadors. Why? No money for big communication campaigns. How can I be creative? If you are not if you don't have money, you should be creative, okay? If you have a lot of money, okay, let's buy uh, commercials and broadcast commercials everywhere, online, uh, TV, etc. Et if you don't have money, what can you do? You have to be creative. So, what he did? He went to all the most famous groups of Italy, giving, uh, giving them a dollar just to test it. Right? And asking them to prepare some recipes with panito. And he created a particular product that is panito and powder, just to be used in, in cooking. Okay? For meat, for uh, pasta, for everything. Okay? Obviously, it's not sweet, but it's slightly sweet. Okay? And every important cook, they create the recipes and they are ambassador of this kind of Valentone to their customers. They are ambassadors because they are reliable. They are famous cooks. I have also an example. I couldn't bring here my type Valentone, but this is just package for a small panettone, you see, it's just for gift. Because you are not giving the panettone, you are giving the, the package. Okay? And in every product, he has just paper explaining how the panettone is. Because if you don't tell the customer, the customer cannot know that. And finally, the price. Do you know how much is the price of a normal panettone in a supermarket during the Christmas period? Four, year, four euros? Seven euros? Okay, let's say from four to seven, more or less, depends on the panettone and so on. How much is this? Thirty. And is increasing turnover every year without increasing the production. Okay? Because the value perceived is 30. This is the point. You are not buying a panetone, you are buying that one. Comparing everything. The package and the story and the ingredients and the level and so on. The point is communication. If you don't communicate that, no one can pay 30 euros for a panettone, a simple panettone. You buy that story. Okay? So, 30. That is <coughs> 6 times. Okay, so, at the end, after all these examples, what is marketing? Marketing is the activity for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging. Value. Value in no offerings. That is value of the chemical exchange. Create value. And communicate the value, otherwise the value is not perceived and delivered the value. Benef uh, creating benefits for customers, the organization itself, stakeholders and society in general making profit. Because you can make profit only if you deliver value appreciated by the customers. Otherwise.
So it's a way just to create value. And we have many tools just to create value. Obviously, the value we create should be bigger than the cost that we have to use. Obviously. Otherwise, the company will fail. How is organized the marketing in a big company or a small one is different because each company has its own organization. But normally, you see, you have a, a, a marketing uh, chief, and then you have sales, advertising promotion, and communication in general, uh, researches, and uh, product and brand managers. In a, in a small company, in a small media company, you have sales, for sure. In a bigger company, you have marketing, but marketing research, more or less, now, is not done by internally, but should be made by using external agencies or external companies, you know, firms, etc. As well as advertising and promotion. Even if, the story is this, advertising promotion at the beginning was internal in the company. I, when I say beginning, I say in the first half of the last century. Then was externalized to communication agencies. Now, because of the web, it's becoming internal more and more. Because you know why the web is becoming internal? Why they don't use external web agencies? Or just they use less external web agencies? Why the web should be internal? Web communication. Not so easy. Well, it's easier to use for you, but imagine a company, you are not the, the, right, uh, the right people because you are so young. Okay, so you can use it. Imagine people like me, so difficult, and company and so on. No, it's not bad. It's easier anyway to use than creating a movie, for sure. But, maybe for one reason. Why? The work should be done internally instead of externally. Yeah, it's easy to use, but right? there's a point. There's a very important point in creating marketing performance. Yeah? I love, I love the point of maybe because if you delegate to an agency, mm -hmm. the agency may have one of your competitors as well. Now this is the, there are rules of the game that if you say you cannot uh, have the two competitors in the same agency. Uh, Otherwise yeah you can't do this. Now uh, let's say is for the speed. Should be fast. Continuously fast, continually updated and so on. And you cannot do that externally because you increase the time span. So to be fast, you have to create it internally. Immediately. You should be fast. Absolutely. With a weapon. Fast and continuous. It's not a, a typical advertising campaign that was okay. We prepare it one year before. Then we make the we, we buy the, the space in the, in, the, in the media. And then we do that and so on. No, every day and every day can be only internally. Okay. Then we have external face of marketing, and the external face of marketing are. Obviously, suppliers and customers. Suppliers, because suppliers can help us to create the right product for customers. As I show you in the Lewisome case history, that suppliers, that means ingredients for them, are so important. And then you have environmental forces, social, economic, technological, competitive, and regulatory. This is what we will do as a, uh, let's say, best analysis. It is political, uh, <coughs> economical, so, uh, social, and uh, 
technological approach. There is, you are influenced by all these kind of factors that you don't control as a company. So, you have to adapt continuously your offer, considering the social change, the technological change, the economical change, the regulatory change, that means the laws, okay, and obviously uh, the competitive. The com the what they do. So you adapt continuously the creation of value considering this, those forces. And now, let's talk about need and solutions. Which is the meaning of the word need? What is a need? Something I have to have. Something I have to have. You want needs? Something. If I need something, um, that means I have to have that. Thing. But what is a need? Need is uh, something is necessary for continue. Is something some product? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Need is not a product. The product is a solution of the need. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You? It's a lack of what? Yeah, it's the perception of a lack. Yeah. And so every need is important. This is what we call the Maslow uh, pyramid. That is, uh, Maslow was a topologist, an American topologist, and social. Uh, Sociologists that um, define that there are physiological needs, safety needs, love, belonging needs, esteem needs, and self actualization needs. And he said, okay, first you have to fulfill this kind of needs physiological, then safety, then love, belonging, then esteem, then actualization at the last point. Actually, we, we discovered that is not so true because you can jump some step. Hmm? But what is important is that everyone has physiological needs. Everyone has safety needs. Everyone has uh, every, every group. What is the problem? The problem is that we react differently. For example, when I say I'm angry, okay, is a typical physiological need that everyone can understand. When you say I'm angry, what I'm thinking of? Which kind of problems? Problems are the tools we use just to reduce the need. Obviously. So, what are you thinking of? Now is 144. You're angry, hopefully. And what do you think of? Do you think that pasta is a common need solution. Why do you think pasta? No, it's not. In China, they don't use pasta. In Japan, they, they use different ideas of pasta. So, why pasta? We have a need that is. We find a solution that is connected with another culture. So, we interpret the need with the lens of culture, technology, availability. Okay? So, pasta is from pizza is typical Italian. Not only Italian, but typical Italian. And the idea of pasta is different in different countries. And the idea of pizza is different in different countries. Have you ever tried Domino's pizza or just a pizza hut? We don't call pizza at that point. Okay? But in the rest of the world they think that pizza is that. With pineapples or just mustard or something like that. Okay? That is horrible for us. But it's because of cultural part. It's because of cultural part. So how we understand and try to solve the needs depends on our culture. Okay? 
Think of it because it's too late now. Okay? See you tomorrow.